for customers using Marketing Cloud Connect with their Salesforce org. With the move to Hyperforce, you will need to enable tenant-specific OAuth endpoints. To explain what is tenant-specific OAuth endpoints, their benefits, and how to enable it, here's Alex. Hi, my name is Alex, and let's discuss everything we need to know about tenant-specific OAuth endpoints. Let's begin with a quick overview of what a tenant-specific endpoint, or TSC, is in Marketing Cloud. Marketing Cloud automatically assigns system-generated subdomains to all tenants. Depending on the tenant type, a tenant represents a top-level enterprise account and its business units, a core account, a top-level agency account, or a client account. This tenant-specific subdomain, which is a 28-character string starting with the letters MC, is appended to the Marketing Cloud APIs and creates endpoints that are unique to the tenant. With this, the system ensures not only that no other Marketing Cloud customer can use this endpoint for API requests, but it also improves the API performance and creates a faster Marketing Cloud experience. While all the new connections automatically use TSA authentication, it is highly recommended that any connected Marketing Cloud instances and business units that are not already using tenant-specific endpoints, TSE, are updated following best practices. Now, for customers using the native connector between the Salesforce CRM and Marketing Cloud, the Marketing Cloud Connect, updating the tenant-specific OF endpoints is a key step of any or migration. This will prevent issues with Marketing Cloud Connect, such as tracking-related issues, expired Marketing Cloud API tokens, sending performance, as well as making the overall Marketing Cloud Connect connection more stable. So now let's, let's get into the specifics and see how we enable tenant-specific OF endpoints for Marketing Cloud Connect within the, the, the Salesforce CRM. Let's begin by navigating to the Marketing Cloud Connect settings page. All the Marketing Cloud Connect settings, as previously configured, can be found clicking Configure Marketing Cloud Connector at the top right corner. Before we enable tenant-specific OAuth endpoints, we want to ensure we capture the settings of this page. We recommend taking a screenshot, for example, of the Marketing Cloud Connector settings page. This is so we can reference this information when we reconfigure the connector again. Because enabling tenant-specific OAuth endpoints will clear this current configuration. As we scroll to the bottom of the page, we can see an advanced section. And as we spend on this section, we'll have now an option to enable tenant-specific OF endpoints. Please note that under Marketing Cloud Environments, we can still see the legacy stack-specific URLs showing in this section. So let's go ahead and enable tenant-specific OF endpoints. Please note that the current configuration of the of the connector will be cleared. So when we're happy to proceed, we can click Enable. As we enable, we will be required to verify the remote site again. This is the same as we did with the initial installation of the connector. So we go ahead, we click Verify Remote Sites and click OK. We are now redirected to the Marketing Cloud Connector setup page. Let's go ahead and go through the steps to con configure the connector using the automated setup wizard. This part is the same as the initial installation of the connector. So when we go through all these steps, we can agree and configure the Marketing Cloud Connector. When everything is successfully completed, we click OK. We now redirect it to the Marketing Cloud Connector page when we need to re login. So we want to ensure that we are, we are locked out of any Marketing Cloud instances at this point. We connect to Marketing Cloud and we log in using the Marketing Cloud API user for the connection. And now we are redirected to the Marketing Cloud settings page that we previously saw. If we scroll to the bottom of the page again and we look at the advanced section, we can see that tenant-specific OF endpoints is not enabled and the Marketing Cloud environments are pointing to the tenant-specific URLs. So now we can go ahead and reconfigure this page with the information that we captured previously. 
So that's it. We have now enabled tenant specific OF endpoints for our marketing cloud account. Now we're ready to perform all the appropriate testing, such as sending any sort of communications, um, journey integration, as well as data synchronization.